In this course, we will see how we can use ReactJS ecosystem which comprises of routing, development tools, state management libraries, etc. to build single page web applications. This obviously raises the next question, what are single page applications? Before we discuss about single page applications, let's first discuss about traditional web applications. At the very early stages of web development, websites were just used to display some information using HTML and CSS. They were just dummy websites and had no interactions at all. We could call them as dumb websites. Then came JavaScript and we started to develop interactive websites using it. So servers started to send some JavaScript code along with some libraries like jQuery as well as some HTML file to build interactive websites. In traditional web applications, when user visits some website or clicks on a link, a HTTP request is sent to the server. Server responds with HTML, style sheet, etc. which gets rendered on the browser client. For example, assume that Facebook is written using traditional web application method. If I open facebook.com URL, then our browser will send a HTTP request to the Facebook server. And as a response, Facebook server sends HTML and style sheet back to our browser client and browser uses it to render the view on the web page. Now when I click on my Facebook profile, our client again sends the request to the server. And server again responds with HTML having some dynamic data related to my profile. And the same cycle continues when we navigate among different internal links inside Facebook domain. This keeps on happening with traditional or server-side web apps. This approach has a couple of problems. First problem is that server has to do a lot of work to construct HTML page dynamically which makes server more busy, hence it will decrease its capacity to serve more clients. Second problem is that every time user navigates inside the web page, request is sent to the server. And when server sends HTML, complete page gets re-rendered on the client, which makes clients slow. Client sometimes becomes unresponsive, especially on mobile devices, because old view is completely destroyed and new view is created from scratch every single time, even though most of the times many parts of the web page don't need a change. We can clearly notice that traditional web applications are highly inefficient. They decrease server capacity and produces performance lag on the client side. That resulted in slow and sometimes unresponsive applications. When we figured out problems with traditional web applications, we started moving towards single page applications. In single page applications, we use JavaScript to generate UI or update UI on the browser using DOM without having a need to reach out to the server and get HTML every time. In single page applications, when user opens an URL for the very first time, client will send request to the server. But this time, server responds back with very minimal HTML and mostly JavaScript code which has a logic to develop UI at the client side directly. So client will render UI this time using JavaScript instead of HTML. Every time user navigates on the web page, client will only send request to the server to fetch data if required like JSON data which is very lightweight when compared to HTML. It will use the response data from the server and JavaScript to render the updated view, which is very efficient and fast after the initial page load. Sometimes clients doesn't even require any data during navigation. In that case, client doesn't need to send any request to the server and can still render the new view using existing JavaScript code. So for example, in single page applications, if we visit facebook.com for the first time, we get very minimal HTML file and lots of JavaScript code that just knows how to create views on the web page. Now if I click on my Facebook profile link, then client may send a request asking only data about my profile. And server will just send requested data instead of sending view logic. When client receives response from the Facebook server, it takes response data and view construction logic from JavaScript and updates view using DOM. Instead of getting HTML from server every time, Single page applications uses already fetched JavaScript to render views using DOM. That brings us to the next question, what is DOM? The document object model is an internal structure that browsers use to render the web page. Browser represents HTML elements as nodes in a tree data structure. DOM provides us APIs or functions to create HTML or DOM elements like h1, div, button that can be used to generate views. DOM also provides us event system. So we can subscribe for events like button clicks or key press or form submit, etc. And DOM will notify us whenever the event occurs. This means we can just use JavaScript language along with DOM APIs or functions to create interactive and dynamic websites. Traditional web applications are slow because every time browser renders an HTML document, it destroys old page DOM tree structure 
and creates a new DOM tree structure for new HTML document. In single page applications, DOM tree is created only once using index.html and that is for the very first time. As user interacts with a web page, DOM tree is updated using JavaScript as needed. So next question that comes to our mind is, where does React and React ecosystem fits into all of this? React is a JavaScript library that allows us to build single page web applications at a higher level. It hides all the complexity of DOM and interoperability issues behind a simpler API and abstraction that is much easier to use than using DOM. It makes DOM manipulations, handles DOM events to render the UI and notifies clients app of DOM events. As user interacts with the application, React renders a new page by updating only the necessary parts of DOM. While updating DOM is less costly operation than traditional web applications, it's still an expensive operation. As we update DOM using methods provided by it, browser has to figure out how things should appear on the web page and restructure the web page according to the changes made to the DOM tree. This is where React library comes into the picture. Instead of interacting directly with the DOM, we use React to tell what to render on the web page and let React figure out how to manipulate the DOM efficiently to render the web page. Events behave in a consistent standards compliant way in all the browsers, including IE8, as React handles browser interoperability issues for us as well. All right. That's a brief introduction about single page applications and just a bit on React library. Let's carry on.